In this video, we will be covering mutable default arguments and why they should be avoided. Before we get started, I just wanted to uh, point out that the Hitchhiker's Guide to Python basically has a section on this very problem. Um, if you have not read this book yet, it is free and it's online and it's definitely worth the read. And I'll put the link to this in the description. Um, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, mutable argument is going to be something like a list or a dictionary, so something that can uh, be mutated and changed. So I'm going to go ahead and use the example from the Hitchhiker's Guide to Python. Uh, this is just a simple function that appends to a list. So the first item we're going to take in is the element that we will be appending. And this is just very simple. We're just going to append the element. And I'm going to create a new variable called my list. And we're just going to append a number, not pass in um, any default list at all. And then we're going to go ahead and print this out. And this is just pretty self-explanatory. We get our list of, of 12 back. So where, where we go wrong with this is if we just, tr let's go ahead and create another list. And I'm going to change this to 42. And we're going to print both of these out. And so we get a bit of a surprise here. So we get 12 and 42, but the thing is we save this to a separate variable. So this could give us some unexpected surprises that if we have code that's running and we ended up calling this more than once, Basically, the default values are evaluated only once at function definition time. So, so in order to fix this issue, what we need to do is come up here and then set this to none. And then we're, we're going to put a uh, conditional here to, to check if two is actually set to none. And now we can um, create it with an empty list. That way, every time this runs, it'll create a new list if it needs it. So if we go ahead and save that and rerun it, um, then we get what we expect. So this same issue occurs with dictionaries because dictionaries are another item that's mutable. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and clear this out. And we're just going to create a new function called add player. And inside here, I'm going to just create the dictionary as if it's a uh, key lookup by the player's name. And I'm going to create a variable called basketball players. I'll just call it BB players. And we'll call it add player. And so this is pretty self-explanatory so far, but let's say somewhere else in our code we want to add it. We want to create a brand new um, players dictionary and let's just call it football players, FB players. And let's say it's our intent to keep both of these things separate. And since they're dictionaries, I'm just going to import pretty print to, uh, just to put every dictionary item on one line. I'll print out the football players. So printing out our second variable. Um, so let's see what this gives us. So what happened was both of our uh, players from the different dictionaries um, are combined um, because we have an empty dictionary here and the second time this is run this function is already run so it um, had the previous players dictionary um, from the first time it was called now one potential fix would be just to pass in a default value but um, this opens us up to being prone to making mistakes and it's not not a good practice but um, that would work in this case uh, but a better way is to um, pass in none as the default players. 
So the first line here, we want to check if players is actually none and then create an empty dictionary if that's the case. So if we save that and run it, um, so now we're getting uh, something that we expect. Um, so our first dictionary and second dictionary are kept separate and they're not combined when we call that the add player function. So let's say we wanted to change this to all players. Uh, we can do that and then pass in our players dictionary. And then if we come down here, we have to change this. And now we're getting um, them combined again, but you know, we're passing in our uh, basketball players into the add player function. So this has been a quick tutorial over mutable default arguments. Thank you for watching.